One thing that is very helpful when learning to probe is having clear gums like on this kill grow model. Just like in a live mouth, bone will dip in different spots. So this helps you to see if you're using the right pressure and tactile sensitivity to notice when the pocket goes deeper, like you can see here. Reminder that you will take the deepest reading from line angle to line angle. So if it's a five near the line angle, but a seven on the straight buckle, then you would document the seven. Also, the clear gingiva help you to see if you're keeping the probe in line with the long axis of the tooth subgingivally versus angling it across the tooth. Always when you begin probing, use a light grasp versus a pinched grasp to improve tactile sensitivity. It is also best practice to use a one millimeter in length bobbing stroke as opposed to a dragging stroke like so. Be sure as well to keep the tip in contact with the tooth versus lifting it off before reinserting after each bob. You will also need to keep the probe handle in line with the occlusal plane, so be here versus here rotated out towards the buckle. A type it out really helps you to learn to keep the working end parallel to the triangular root surface, meaning it should tilt at an angle into the pocket. If you're not parallel, you'll notice that your probe is not inserting into the pocket. One last common error is tilting it too much into the call or not tilting enough into the call. Envision extending the probe halfway across the tooth interproximally. Another technique to practice on a model with clear gingiva is frication detection with a neighbor's probe. You can easily see the frication from the middle of the buccal and lingual of the mandibular molars. On the maxillary molars, you evaluate them from the direct mid-buccal. However, on the lingual, check from the mesiolingual and distolingual because on the straight lingual, the third palatal root is in the way. Also, there is a possibility of a frication on the maxillary first premolar, which is assessed from the mesiolingual. As you're able to see that probe subgingively, you can feel confident to access these areas on a live patient. Kilgore has product options with the tongue, cheeks, and face covers, and I recommend practicing with all of them in place as they will help you to practice all of the concepts of probing, such as mirror use, retraction, advanced fulcruming, and clinician and patient positioning.